you ever farted on a cocker spaniel? Only yeah. once. Yeah? yeah? Oh. And uh, what was the cocker spaniel reaction? Indifferent. Liar. In indifferent. <laughs> I like. I like a lot. Okay. You're a reality star. You're an actress. You're a model. You are Crystal Pepsi personified. Tell me your name one more time. <laughs> she can't even remember her own name. That's how popular she is, it's ladies clear. and gentlemen. It's just clear as day. Yeah, all right. I like that. I like that. Here we go. All right. And so how long you been on house arrest now? March 16th was day one. March, it's all right. Yeah. We, you know, it feels like we've all been on house arrest, right? Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. It's, myself. it's like a self-choice. What do you uh, plan to do when you get off a of house arrest? Take some DMT and run outside. Oh, that is a good answer. That is a very good answer. Me, I plan to brush my teeth. Oh. Yeah, I, I'm going. Once I enter the outside world, I will. Uh, I will have a clean mouth. I'm gonna change my clothes. Oh, good. Yeah, we, <laughs> it's something we should all aspire to. <laughs> And now it said, now you said on your Twitter account, if you drink the blue liquid from a magic eight ball, you can see the future. Tell me more, please. Where do I get the eight ball again? <laughs> God. <laughs> Apparently you forgot what's in the future. You need to shake again, shake again, shake your balls. Let me see you shake your balls to the camera like this. Shake your balls like this. Camera on me, please. Yes, shake your balls to the camera. All right. Now, are we ready to spin the wheel of misfortune? You're an actor, you're a rapper, and you're an activist. Why aren't you also an astronaut? Because I don't have a rocket ship. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we, need to, we need to get you one. We need to get you one. <laughs> you're, hey, I, I've never met I'm a poor astronaut the moon. before. I'm always we'll on the we'll moon. Find, now, you also said on your Twitter account that you've always wanted to jet ski to Alaska. <laughs> and, and tell me, how do you plan to do that? Uh, you know, it's just kind of it's kind of just a dream right now. But uh, yeah, thanks for reminding me. Um, yeah, so I'm ready to start that GoFundMe, huh? Right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> got to make it happen somehow. <laughs> All right, are you ready to spin the? Now, do you two have children? No. no. No, oh, well, good for you. You are having the best quarantine possible. <laughs> are you both uh, essential workers or are you uh, staying at home following proper protocol? Hang on. Yes, home. like good, good. And what, is, uh, what are your first plans when you get off a uh, house arrest? Thailand. <laughs> What's that? Thailand. <laughs> Thailand, ah, good option, good option. Me, I'm going to get out of these clothes, brush my teeth, and finally hit the streets. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Definitely can't brush. Okay. Have you ever gotten in trouble with the law, Ranger? <laughs> yes. Yes? Just give us a little tidbit about it. Oh, um, probably the best story I have was when we were in high school. Well, we were doing a little physics experiment. If you take a two liter bottle, plastic bottle, fill it full of uh, dry ice, put some water on it and put a cap on it, um, you you make a very, 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 very loud, loud boom. And we were doing this in the public parks around my, my uh, neighborhood when we were just stupid kids. And we started blowing things up like, you know, first it was uh, like pile, and bark and things like that and then it went on to porta potties and, you know it just all right so you like up, blowing uh, shit up that's what i got out of it up. is that yeah, what it's, it's kind of true it blow shit up it's not a stretch i do in fact blow some shit up at burning it it's true all right now, now Actually, it's, we, we tend to blow now you said on your twitter account not only am I not a Scientologist, but I challenge their shitbag legal team to come at me guns blazing. Absolutely, absolutely. Can you tell me what provoked that, that post? 
Uh, yeah, just, you know, just a long, long <laughs> time, just being super frustrated, you know, with the religion and everything, what they're trying to do. They're just spreading around the country, around the world. And yeah, I just thought someone should just put a stop to it, you know, just, it, it was about you're, time. You're very you know? brave, because they got some, some very expensive lawyers, I must say. Yeah, it's worth it. The, the fight is the struggle's worth it, though, you know? Yeah, regardless, no matter what the challenge, you know? Oh, you gotta do what you can. I, 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 so no, I stand what behind you. Yo. Okay, now, here's a random question. What, what, when you died and you went up to the pearly gates and Jesus was there, but L. Ron Hubbard was there too and they both had a hand extended, Whose hand would you shake? Would you shake? I guess L. Ron Hubbard because he was like a businessman, wasn't he? Yes, that is a correct answer in my book because he was real and he had lots of money. I like that answer. I like that answer. Okay, on a scale of 1 through 100, how many words do you know? Do you know 50 words? Do you know 75 words? Do you know 18 words? One word, and it's called... Uh... That was seven words, sir. <laughs> oh, no, we got a winner! <laughs> now, it says, uh, it says in my notes here, sometimes you like to get naked and cover yourself in Vaseline and crawl on the ground and pretend you're a slug. Could you please tell us some more? Hmm. I asked you not to tell anyone about that. <laughs> oh, the secret is out. Yeah. The secret is out, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you know, past times in COVID, you, you know, you, it's like you empty your fridge and you empty your, your medicine cabinet and see what happens. Now it says in my notes, sometimes you like to get naked and cover yourself in Vaseline and crawl around on the ground and pretend you're a slug. Can you please tell me a little more about that? Well, you know, I, I, I tend to bond with the slug when I'm covered in Vaseline just because of the similarities of texture and and and, and experience. And, you know, just the the need to 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 just get that out on occasion is really, really important. Um, the downside, of course, it makes commuting hell, but uh, you know, you give what you take. Right on, right on. Well, now are you ready to spin the wheel of misfortune? Right, for the gecko. All right. Hi. It says in my notes, sometimes you like to get naked and cover yourself in va Vaseline and crawl on the gr crawl around on the ground and pretend you're a slug. Please turn your mic on and tell me more about that. Uh, when I slime along the ground with my Vaseline slicked body, you want me to tell you about that? Yeah, tell me what the experience is like, please. Ah, uh, well. I'm dying to know. I'm sure our contestants are too. It's very slow moving and all of my parts are moving in the Vaseline along the ground. It seems like you're still in that K-hole while you're on it as well. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, how did it feel to be a whale on ketamine? I'm still a whale on ketamine, obviously. Ah, good answer, good answer. Okay, okay, and now a question for Henry. Would you titty fuck Martha Stewart? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, that's an answer I was waiting to hear. Right, and now, you, now, you, now you said on your Twitter account, at, if at first you don't succeed, skydiving is not for you. Please, have you, uh, you, you've accomplished skydiving, I imagine. I don't know who you're talking about, but... <laughs> I'm well, this is what you said on your Twitter account. I don't know who, who yeah. you... Have you skydived before? <laughs> I imagine you survived the first fall. I, I went 
Okay. Now let's spin the wheel of misfortune. 